Even though I'm drawn to supernatural themes, I'm not interested so much in depicting the smoke and mirrors and like, I don't want to draw paintings, like, you know, like the ghosts in the room. I'm much more interested by the people behind the smoke and mirrors and like, what, are, what, what is their dynamic? What's, what's the push and pull between them? Like that's, that interests me. It's very intuitive, but I have a, I have a sense. With some things I have a sense. Um, like there's some images that come to me and it's sort of about executing a vision. Like it's sort of like I have this idea in my head of what it's gonna look like. And then sort of me trying to get as close to this vision as I can. And then other times I have kind of like a starting point and I sort of allow myself to be open to where it takes me. She is taken from this old 19th century photograph I got at the flea market. Um, I just really loved her pose. And then these are clouds that I created that are made up of um, Sissy Spacek and Shelley Duvall. This was a printout that I had I was using for these drawings and um, water spilled on it and so the way that the ink started bleeding was really beautiful to me. It's very subtle and I, I don't think, I don't really think anyone would pick up on the fact that these are made up of something slightly representational but that's not really important to me. It's, I think that there's something that people feel or sense, um, that's enough. I mean, I, I feel like I just, obs by nature, like I just obsessively research things. Like I just get really like fascinated with something and then when I get fascinated by it, I just want to get as close to it as possible. But I tend to zero in on these characters. Um, like for example, like the one behind me is of, it's like an imaginary portrait of the Fox sisters. And the Fox sisters kind of started the spiritualist movement in like the 19th century. And people used to travel from all over to like watch them. Um, do these seances and like channel the dead. So I started working on it at first with these just like really delicate pencil drawings. And then for me, the space in between them is really important. Because I think that they're, they're really similar in shape and angle and proportion. So there's something like eerily similar about them. And then for a long time, the background, the animals weren't there. But then I was looking at this book of patterns and I saw this pattern of these animals eating each other. I don't know, I liked the idea of having this sort of elegant but tense ornamentation between behind these two girls, sort of like swirling around them. I think I'm a very visual person and I think I tend to think about things in terms of metaphors and symbols and um, and sometimes I feel like I'm actually really bad at articulating myself, so I like that there's this this world that I can exist in, where I can communicate to people and I can tell them everything without having to use words at all. I don't want the work to be about me. I mean, I think I want to sort of use my, use my feelings and my stories and my attractions and repulsions and kind of like use it in a way that connects to something that's more universal. And I know that sometimes I put myself in a position where, at least for me, it feels like I'm revealing too much. I mean, I, I've always been envious of music for that reason. Like, I love that the way that music just sort of like bear, bears everything, you know? And I, I would like for my drawings and my paintings to do that. Um, or to get as close to that as I can without it being embarrassing. <laughs>